Good morning, everyone. สวัสดีครับสวัสดีค่ะ I'm Matty and I'm Yuan. Welcome to BISP Songkran Celebration Week 2022. What is so special about Songkran? Let's hear about it from Mr. Meredith. Welcome to the Songkran celebrations at BISP. Songkran is the beginning of Thai New Year. However, it's also well known as a water festival. Water is used by traditional pouring methods as a ritual washing away of negativity and bad luck from a previous year or life. We also, in the past, have seen this celebrated in water fights and splashing. Water has always been used to clean the body and sometimes the planet, so it's a very positive way to begin the Thai New Year. As we emerge from the pandemic, it's also an important time. To begin our new life in the coming year, as you take part in the traditional pouring of water or the splashing of water, take time to reflect on the past year and plan for the year ahead with respect, compassion, and integrity in mind. Stay safe, everybody, and happy Songkran! Today I'm going to be talking about the history of Songkran, and there are three days of the Songkran Festival. The first day of the Songkran Festival is when people clean their homes and public places, like schools and temples, to get rid of any bad luck from the previous years and get them ready for the new year. Another main activity is Songnam p r a t a ritual where people pour water onto a Buddha image. The second day of the festival is known as Wan n a o and this is when people prepare food and offerings to be given to monks and temples the following day. It is also the day where people pay respect to elderly, as young people participate and join in in a ceremony called r o t Nam Dam Hua. The third day of the festival is known as Wan Thalung Sok, and it is when people prepare food and clothing to be given to monks and temples, who then pray for them. They also participate in rituals that believe to bring good luck for the new year. The Songkran Festival is the traditional Thai New Year's Day, and it's celebrated from the 13th to the 15th of April. The word Songkran comes from the ancient Sanskrit word meaning to step in or to enter. It signifies the beginning of a new year, and it has been this way since ancient times. Today, it's also a symbol of family, religion, and community. People give gifts to the elderly, clean temples, and organize community events. Songkran brings the entire Thai nation together as the most important holiday on the national calendar. The most famous aspect of the Songkran holiday. Which is celebrated all across the country is the throwing of water. This act originated from the spring cleaning tradition. Part of this ritual includes cleaning the images of the Buddha, where the water used is considered to be blessed. This water is then reused to soak people as a way of showing respect and attracting good fortune. As Songkran is celebrated in April, it also provides us with the opportunity. To cool down and escape from the heat and humidity. During this time, visitors, locals, and tourists all enjoy water fights on the streets to welcome and celebrate the Thai New Year. Many also make New Year resolutions and set goals for themselves. In households, old and purposeless items are thrown away to ensure that no bad luck is attracted. Overall. Songkran, the Thai New Year, is known to be a simple but powerful way to unite the Thai community together. s u k s a n w a n Songkran ha, happy Songkran. สวัสดีครับ Now that you learned about Songkran history, we'll be talking about Songkran activities. Songkran is one of the most important traditions in Thailand. Because it encompasses the three major values in the Thai way of life: the value of society, value of religion, and value of family. Songkran is not only about throwing water, because it has other activities for you to enjoy. Let's talk about the activities. The first activity that we will discuss is t a m b u n or merit making. The blessings of this new year come from merit making, which is the practice of giving and meditation. Merit builds a strong foundation in Bud- for Buddhists and ensures that their actions have positive impact on others. Traditional Songkran activities build merit, such as giving offerings dedicated to our ancestors to the monks, 
or even visiting the temple and listening to Buddhist preachings. Another common practice is to release birds or fish back into their natural habitat. Bathing Buddha statues. In Songkran, Buddhists perform a ceremony called Songnam Pra, which is pouring scented water over a Buddha statue to wash away all the bad things they've done in the past year. And this is also a way for them to show respect to the Buddha's teachings and also for Thai people to ask for a new beginning of life. Okay, so I'm going to be talking about Radnam Dem Hrua. Uh, so on the first day of Songkran, which is to honor the elderly, an old custom called Radnam Dem Hrua takes place and it involves younger people pouring scented water over the palms of uh, um, parents or the elderly as a sign of humility or to ask for their blessings. And um, the water used in the ceremony is sacred, thus it must be clean. And Nam O basically just means saturated water with Thai perfumes or uh, scented water with uh, floral petals such as rose or jasmine. Building sand pagodas. Sand pagodas are often built in temples with either mud or sand to cultivate Buddhist merit. It was reckoned that over the course of the year, a lot of sand was accidentally taken away from the temple on the bottom of people's shoes. So once a year, people are invited back to bring sand and build sand pagodas. After offering food to monks, people often make merit offerings such as sand to temples. They also release animals such as birds and fish, and also larger animals such as cows, uh, cows bulls and elephants. People, people not only release animals during song crime, but they also release animals during visits to the temple or all, also their birthdays. People believe that by releasing animals, you are saving a life. However, they often forget that the animals that they release have to be captured first and so in order to, for them to make any merit. And so the sin cancels out the merit that they make. As it turns out, getting drenched in water is considered good luck in Thailand. It is a way to cleanse oneself of bad luck and to start the new year fresh. It is also to celebrate familiar bonds and, and the local community as well as cherish those who have passed. So basically, you try to get as much water as possible on each other. Splashing water during Songkran is a, is a way to give and request blessings through water and it's not just a rigorous water fight. On the first day of Songkran, families spend time together, gathering in the morning to pay respect to the elderly. The younger family members would show their humility by gently pouring water onto the hands of the elderly, while the older family members would offer their blessings and show the mutual respect. And a very happy Songkran to all of you. I'm Sanvi. And I'm Anita, and we're here to talk about the do's and don'ts of Songkran. So what are some things we should do during Songkran? Well, we should learn how to say Sawadhi Pi Mai Ka, which means Happy New Year in the Thai language. We should also remember to respect people and places. And if you're planning on participating in the water fights on the street during the holiday, then remember to be mindful about the stores that are open. Remember to play safely with clean water and if you can, wear floral shirts that you feel comfortable getting wet in. And finally, remember to enjoy this festival with your family and friends. Thank you, Sanvi. So what we shouldn't do on Songkran is we shouldn't use dirty water. We should remember not to throw water at monks, elderly people or babies. We should use the road safely and don't drink and drive. We shouldn't use ice cubes as a substitute for water as it may hurt people. And remember not to stop smiling because it is a fun and joyous day. A very happy Songkran to all of you and Sawadhi Pi Mai Ka Kapun Ka.
so many cab. Songkran celebrates the beginnings of the Thai New Year. So traditionally, it's important to uh, reflect on the past, what's happened in the last year, and also um, think about the future. I invite you to do that over the next couple of weeks when you're on holiday. And when you're celebrating Songkran, be thinking about what you've achieved over the last year. Sometimes in the face of adversity, you've done some absolutely incredible things. I want you to think about how you're going to grow into all of those opportunities um, that are out there for you in the new year. And relish that opportunity to be able to grasp each one. Thank you so much to all of those people who've been involved in the Thai celebration this week. Uh, the Thai team for organising the events that we've seen each day, uh, but also for the students who have been uh, involved to embrace the whole spirit of Songkran. It's really important to us as a school. We wish Year 11 and Year 13 the very best of luck as they go into their um, study period in preparation for the exams that are, are looming ahead of them. We wish you every success in the future and we'll miss you over Term 3, but good luck for your exams. And finally, it just leaves me to, to wish you all a very happy Songkran. Enjoy your two-week holiday. Be peaceful, have a good rest, and be energized to return to us in two weeks' time. Suk San Won Songkran Gap. Thank you for watching, everyone, and I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you all have a fun Songkran holiday. Happy Songkran! Suk San Won Songkran Gap.